Can you imagine a prehistoric fantasy world filled with medieval castles and creatures that can only be found in fantasy? What about humans from fallen empires? So, do you guys know that Rome fell? But most importantly, dinosaurs. Come with me as I, Arden Wokter, will try and attempt to... Actually, I don't have any challenge, I just wanted to play this mod because it looked fun. This is the story of a young spirit who travels through a prehistoric fantasy world. Dawn of a new... Dawn era? The Dawn era? Why isn't it the dawn of new era? The dawn era doesn't sound right. Oh well. Woohoo, I spawned in a... Oh, I, I just got the sudden urge to climb this. Also, why do I have this book? Ooh, Animal Dictionary. Advanced Alex Mob. Uh, a little bit. I'll read this later. Do I actually need this? It's not like I... It's not like um, the animals here are unkillable. While trying to get a clear view of my surroundings, I climbed out of the valley and looked over my new kingdom. This is so pretty, I'm gonna take a screenshot, which I probably am not gonna use later. Like any Minecraft Let's Play, the journey starts off by punching the shit out of a tree. So far, normal Minecraft, but that was about to change. The heck is that over there? Is that a dragon? Or a really big bird? This is only one out of many creatures that I have yet to discover. Some that I won't even discover in this video, but if you want to discover them, then there will be a link down in the description for the mod if you want to play this. Probably hostile. And I do not have the stuff to take it down. Also, can I get rid of the blocks or to the side there? It's kinda in the way. Anyways, I do know that dinosaurs are here, so the goal for this video, let's try and kill a T-Rex. Okay, I lied about not having a goal, but since the normal goal of Minecraft is to beat the Ender Dragon, let's just exchange the Ender Dragon for the T-Rex. Hello, sheep. Bye bye, sheep. Okay, so, uh, first order of business, I should probably find somewhere to set up base. Uh, the open plains is nice, but there's a few cracks here and there. Uh, plenty of food, though. Oh, this is, this is deep. Fish even. Huh. There's crows. Out of my way. Ooh. Thanks to the bird, I saw a structure in the distance, and hoping for better loot, I started to head towards it. This looks like a destroyed tower. It's gotta be like, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm lucky and can find a bow or something. Towers are usually meant for bowing, right? Doesn't seem to be an entrance. Guess I had to make one. Like I just said, there were no clear entrance for me to get into the structure. With no other choices left, I made the entrance myself. Unfortunately, this whole ordeal ended up being a waste of time. This entire structure is just a pile of uh, stone bricks. It's not hollow inside, and there's no chest up here. Just water. This was a complete waste of time. And I'm done. I'm burning daylight. I really need to find a place where I can set up base. According to the map, I am coming up on a river, and I... that was bad. That was a bit. I don't know if IRL bears translate into the game, but if I know anything about bears IRL, then they are dangerous. What does the book say? The grizzly bear, a large moon, and can often be found with the one of the bear following. 
prepared travels with it. Because they, although they are neutral at this and they become hostile when approached. Okay, that is good to know. After escaping a problem I could barely stand, I opened up my map and saw another structure. This one a little bit more believable. Oh, there's a structure towards east. And it looked like a proper structure too. Yeah, it looks like to be a house. Hopefully not a disappointment this time. Time was of the essence. And I do not know what type of creatures that may spawn during night. And since mods are installed, for all I know, they may be worse than the vanilla mobs. If I wanted this loot, I needed to be quick. And the structure I saw, hidden behind some trees. Well, it didn't seem too welcoming. Is this like a cemetery? Okay, a lot of graveyards. In desperate times, grave robbing aren't exactly beneath me, but the only thing... Ghost! 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 Where's the ghost poster when you need them? Go in the river! Ghosts can't swim! Ghosts can't swim! Oh! 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 oh. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Can ghosts swim? I don't know if they can swim. I should probably be safe on the other side, right? There's no way that the ghost will be uh, stubborn enough to follow me all the way. <gasps> it's following me! It's still following me! It's still following me! Oh no, I'm out of hunger! I'm out of hunger! Oh, okay, no choice left to fight. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's... It's actually oh, what the heck? The, the hallu hallucination. Okay, this is probably going to be really close. Come on, you. And <sighs> if I did not get that one critical, I would have been dead. Okay, uh, just gotta do the classic Minecraft strat: dig straight down and block it off. And I'm gonna stay here for the rest of the night. Having just escaped death, it was obvious that I would be a little bit reluctant to go out again, especially when food and health was so limited. With the little supplies I had, first I healed up. Then I had to think of a game plan. First order of business, get through the night. So happy I killed those sheep earlier. At least I can sleep the night away. Good morning. Okay, uh... Okay, I can barely see. Get rid of that. Actually, I should probably see if I can cook up some food. Even though I had slept the night away, I had no intention of going out again not at least until I fully healed up. Ah, oh, this is good. Oh, okay. Well, can't stay here forever. Should probably get take these two with me. And then, yeah, you know what? Let's go back to that grave site and loot it. Watermelons. Not the best food source, but it's better than nothing. I got literally nothing. Rather this than nothing, and I also saw a broken portal over there. Hopefully, something good. The best thing I can ask for now. I already have a weapon, so... Ah, well, looting might be good then. Probably use it for gardening later. After taking what I needed, I headed back towards the gravesite, this time a bit more confidence since I was visiting it during daytime. Back into the water we go. There are naughty creatures, but probably nothing dangerous, right? I mean, there aren't any sharks up the rivers, right? There probably are, either. are those crocodiles? Those were indeed crocodiles, and by sheer dumb luck, I had avoided them twice. Dumb luck aside, at least this time, when visiting this gravesite, I was a bit more prepared the second time. I was already killing the ghost that was haunting that chest last night, so it should be good now, right? It's not good! It's not good. Oh, 
You do less damage now than... Is it maybe because it's daytime? Come out there. I killed one of you guys, so... Oh, oh yeah, you... You are weaker. Is it because it's daytime? It's probably because it's daytime. Oh well, that's a W for me, but... Damn. Okay, so a ghost appears when touching that chest, so... It's probably better to just do this. Yes! Ha! Huh. Take that, ghost. After disrespecting the dead, I decided it would be in my best interest to find a place and set up a base. But only after I committed a bit more theft. Finer keepers, armor weepers, some grave robbery... But that doesn't need this. And disrespecting the entire family tree while I'm at it. Wow, whoever ancestor these guys are, you guys suck. Honestly, at this point, I was just trying to diss everything. And everyone. I don't think this bridge will help anyone. I also almost died a few times. My butt clenched so hard. I saw a structure in the distance and I wanted to check it out. However, it turned out I would be a bit sidetracked. You are a seal? And you make that fish noise from that one seal video on YouTube. <laughs> Nobody will know. I am such an asshole. I was still searching for a place to set up base. And I thought maybe a base near the sea would be a good plan. Things were really looking up for me, but that was about to change. <laughs> oh no. Sirens! Uh, uh, mermaids? Sirens? I don't know the difference. I can't move! I can't move! It's drawing me to the sea! Oh, oh. oh I'm stuck! I'm stuck! It's forcing me to go closer to the sea! That's not good! At least I'm stuck here, so... I'm not moving towards the ocean, at least. But I can't get away either. Is there like no way for me to break out of this spell? Actually... If I dig down and... I, I can... I can... Dig down and then I can move in the opposite direction. Damn, this thing feels so evil. Dig, dig, dig. Don't listen to the siren. It only wants to kill me. I'm soon out of it. I'm soon out of the range. Should be good. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm a. I'm a dig. Um, dig myself out now, and then I'm gonna run uh, far, far away and never come back to this place. At least not until I get some uh, range. Because right now, I am melee, and I'm not even doing that good. I'm no pvp -er. Ooh, look at that, a house. Hmm, maybe a village? You guys saw nothing. Nothing, I say. Ooh, there's one villager, one house. It's only one house, not much of a village, but... Excuse me, sir. This is now, from this day forward, this house belongs to me. And I will allow you to stay here, but you will have to stay in this hall in particular. Now, sir. Where are you going? Sir? Now then, get in the hall. Get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. You'll be my roommate, my best friend forever. 
I don't know what we I should call you. I'll let the comments decide on that. Now then, you be good, and I'm actually clean up your house. How do you live like this? The how do you get? <gasps> There's another one of you. Your wife or husband? Okay, I'm gonna say something a little bit racist, but um, I do not see the difference between you guys. You look way too alike. Anyways, this isn't this. No, actually, this isn't racism. This is speciesism. Now you be good. There you go. I got you a friend, buddy. Now you two can be my friends forever. The heck is the advancement? Mine, mine, mine. Anyways, uh, first order of business. I should probably go and get some resources. You two be good now. Watch over the house while I'm gone. Um, just actually... Better survey my area. I could just go down in the... Cavern right here, but... It doesn't feel too safe. I kind of want to start off my own mind. So... Mm, this place looks good. Like a... Not too far from uh, my house either, so... If I just... Build it straight right into the mountainside here, and I think I, I think I got something here. Now that I finally have established a base, I started immediately with mining. Gathering resources was a must, if I was going to kill a T-Rex. After preparing everything I needed for a successful mining trip, I started digging. Order of priority. First I'm gonna find iron, then I'm gonna find diamonds. If I find gold, I'll take it. Golden apple sounds nice. Ooh! Stone fossil. Odd looking rocks. Is that a fossil? Oh, this is quite fun, especially when I kinda like- I like this. Unfortunately, I also found other stuff that I found less likable. Ooh, a cave. This looks like it has... it is filled with potential. I see some iron, and I hear footsteps. There you are. I'm not afraid of you. Especially when I'm up here. I had the high ground. After dunking on Anakin's zombie walker, I gathered all the iron I could find, and then headed back up to the surface. I have gathered a bit too much. I kinda have a problem with storage. I should actually probably expand my house a little bit. Then again, I don't really have too much space to expand on, but I can always just dig down. Or maybe I can build like a cellar under the house. Hello you two! Have you two been nice? I'm asleep. Now then, yeah, I think I'm gonna try and maybe make a storage. Just gonna dig straight down right here. Um, as long as I don't fall into anything dangerous, I should be good. I'm just gonna expand this direction. And with, with time, this will look wonderful. Okay, now I'm gonna just put these just there. there. Maybe I should move this into the corner so it look a bit more... There we go. And I can fill this up with one more. There we go. After building the storage, it was straight back to the mines. It was time to gather all the necessary materials that I needed. Really gotta be careful with these gravels. Don't want to be buried in that. <gasps> I had spotted my first diamonds. First diamonds in this video. This will be the start of something great. I should probably see how big of a vein it is. 
This really doesn't look like to be a big vein. Only like three diamonds. Though it's better than no diamonds. Gotta keep it uh, positive, you know. Optimism. It's not. This is not zero. It is three diamonds. Enough to make a pickaxe. And a pickaxe will solve most of my problems. I wonder how mad will people be if I were to make a diamond hole out of this. I know that that, that is one of the golden rules of Minecraft. First rule is the famous one, never dig straight down. And the other one is like, never use diamonds on a hole. My success rate wasn't dropping anytime soon. Getting rid of that before it can kill somebody. More specifically me. <gasps> Jackpot! After some time, I had gathered enough diamonds to make me a diamond armor set and some tools. With this, I could upgrade armor, and now I was one step closer to killing a Rex. After I had upgraded my armor, I decided that my food source wasn't too stable, so I began working on a farm. Working the earth, plowing the field, using a hoe and spread my seed. Ah, it's broken. I need another hoe. It didn't take long for me to have a decent side field, and after some time, all it needed was just some finishing touches. With food no longer being a problem, I started working on an enchantment room. With the room finished, I only needed a bookshelf and the enchantment table itself. I already had the diamonds, I only needed some books and the obsidian. I traded out my armor, not wanting to waste the durability on the diamond. I wanted to find a village to pillage them for their books. There was a structure over here. It's over the river. Maybe some good loot. Hope I can find, get some more loot. By using the map, I located another structure. This structure, however, was just another graveyard. Not too much great loot, but the real price was the structures behind it. A village. Hmm, here, here, peasants. In the name of the king, I am here to collect taxes. I am talking about myself, of course. And these hay bales, they, these are for taxes. And those hay bales over there, these are not for taxes, I'm just stealing them. How unfortunate. This is such a perfect lava pool, but I do not have my diamond pickaxe with me, I left it at home. Oh well, I'll just come back later, I suppose. After noting down the lava pool's location, I took whatever else I found valuable. After which, I headed back home. This time, I was going to bring my diamond pickaxe with me. But once again, I paid a visit to the village. Okay. If I remember correctly, I think it was... Was it four ob uh, obsidian? F yeah, I think it was four. Three at the bottom and one in the middle. Damn, even with the diamond pickaxe, this is taking... a bit. I also decided to get a horse. If I was going to fight a T-Rex, then, and a little bit extra mobility would be nice. Okay, you are faster, but you have better jump height. And you have more hearts. And you aren't, so, you aren't that much slower, so... I have decided you will be my horse. Love me. Love me. Come on. Yeah, why am I swinging animation? Love me. Love me. Love me. Oh no, not now. Not now, zombie. Okay, good. Tame the horse. Okay. Get away. Get away from the horse. God, I can, I can barely see. Stop running around. Why are you so difficult to hit? 
Man, wait. Man, I suck at this game. Oh, come on, that was a critical. I slept the night away, and after lamenting my poor skill in combat, I decided to take it out on the Sobby Kid's father. With no other disturbances, I can now finally get a new friend. Get out of my face, other horse. Sorry if you're a friend, but I'm gonna take this one for myself. Run like the wind, horsey. I don't have a name for you. Oh, oops. Accidentally hit the uh, wrong key. Whee! Damn, you're not that... Are you really slow? If, if you're this fast, I wonder how fast the other guy was. Come on, horse, you can jump this. Can you swim with me on? That is a no. Can I... Long story short, I kinda struggled trying to get my horse to fit in the boat and cross the river. Which apparently it would seem that it would never happen. I don't know why it's so difficult for you to get in the boat, but apparently you will not get in the boat and I'm going to hold that against you forever. Oh well, I'll just take the long way around. Along with my new friend, I now had all the ingredients I needed to make an enchantment table. With this, I could finally enchant. But first, I wanted to add some more bookshelves and get some more levels. After gathering all the necessary materials, I made some extra bookshelves and also cleaned up my front yard. I want to enchant my horse armor. Please let me... Oh, I, I forgot I need... Lapis Lapsuli. Now then. What? I can't enchant my horse armor? Wow, I guess the devs want my horse to die. Sorry horse, but apparently I can't enchant your armor. Are you eating my crops? How dare you. Anyway, uh, horse, uh, I don't get to enchant your armor, so... Uh, you just gotta deal with it. But hey, you still look awesome in it. After failing to care for my animal, I decided to make a second mine. But this is not just any mine. This mine is going to help me with my levels. For you see, I... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really too proud of it, but at the same time, I am. Remember the whole uh, map system thing? The one I used to locate structure up above? Well, I decided that maybe I can use it on the ground as well. So, uh, yeah, um, and you can apparently adjust it to see underground as well, and, well, I think you know where this is going. Okay, so, um, around this area I found stone bricks and mossy stone bricks, and... I think we all know that those things can only appear if there are structures on the ground. Is this cheating? I don't know. Is this x-ray? 
not too much. Regardless if this was cheating or not, the strategy was working and I found a mob spawner. With the mob spawner located, all I had to do was turn this into an EXP farm. Probably gonna need a lot of water for this one. I... I think I can barely remember how to make one. I mean, I can probably just search up on YouTube, but... I remember I made a few of these back in the day. So, shouldn't be too difficult. Seems like it is working like a charm. Pretty impressive considering that I haven't played Minecraft since uh, 2001, I think? Yeah, probably 2001. Okay, I guess I'll just have to do this for a long period of time. is not my music. The hell is that coming from? Apparently, in this mod, it includes a type of zombie that spawns with a backpack of music? So close to level 30. I don't know why I'm going for level 30, I just remember somewhere that it's good to be level 30 for enchantment. Finally, I can enchant. Starting off with chest blade and breaking and breaking. Oh. Well, I guess I'm breaking on too bad, but. Oh, there we go, protection. I'll take that, thank you. Enchanter. Really wanted full prot, but I'll take it, I guess. Too bad I don't have a grindstone, but I don't. Ah, uh, I'm too lazy to get that now. Maybe there's no, there weren't a blacksmith in that village. Probably no grindstone. Almost full prot. I'll take it at least. Now that I had enchanting, I was one step closer to killing a T-Rex. However, I knew that the battle would be difficult. So to boost my success rate even further, I started to prepare materials for a trap. A big trap. With the materials scattered, all I needed was a suitable location. Lucky for me though, trapping an AI creature should be less difficult than trying to trap a player. After searching for not that long actually, I found the perfect spot.
with the location decided, I started on working on the trap. After some time, with the sunrise, a new structure had risen. I'm not really sure how to categorize this, but if I had to put it somewhere, I would say a pitfall bridge trap. Nonetheless, for an amateur builder, I was really proud of this trap. The moment the T-Rex steps on this bridge, I would break the block and then the Rex will fall. Now, even though the bridge has some height to it, I am not naive enough to believe that fall damage will be enough to kill a T-Rex. Therefore, underneath this bridge, I have a plan B. Is this overkill? Perhaps, or maybe not. However, I think this is fitting if you want to try to kill the king of the dinosaurs, or at least the predator dinosaurs, but whatever. The final showdown was near and I had to prepare everything. Please, I want a flaming bow. Power too. Is that good? I mean, it's power. Oh wait. Ah man, I need level 16. Damn. I think I should be high enough level now. Sweet. Kinda still want that flame bow. With that, everything was ready. Equipment, trap, everything. All I needed now was to locate the tyrannical king. It's just another farm. I kinda already have enough food, so I don't really. <gasps> oh, the time has come! Oh, he sees me! He sees me! Time to run! Oh shoot, he is actually quite fast. How is he so fast for his size? I thought science said that he can't run. Or at least can't do a speed uh, running gap. Ha. Okay, that's the good thing I got this horse. I am. Um, I would not have been able to outrun that, I think. <gasps> oh god, then that is just unfair. Oh, oh come on. Oh, he's right behind me! He's right behind me! Run! Run! Horse! 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 Run! 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 Don't be stuck! Oh, my horse! <coughs> my throat! Run! Horse! Run! Okay, I don't hear him anymore. I don't want to look behind me, though. We better run, pig! <coughs> Why is it? He's teleporting, isn't he? Come over 
Hey, you fat bastard. I'm ready to sacrifice my horse. Why is he just standing there? Come closer, damn it! Why are you just standing there? Uh oh, wait, where are you going? Why are you going? What? Why? Oh! That is not fair. Why can you teleport? Oh! oh. What the heck happened there? Oh. Take the horse! Stop going around! Stop being smart! Where did he go? Did it despair? Why did it despair? Did I won? Did I win? I think I may have won. It disappeared! No! Out of my way! How did it not hit me there? Oh come on, this is not fair! Why are you not going on the bridge? Why are you being clever? Man, this is some this is some Jurassic Park level uh, intelligence. Why are you going for my horse? Like you're fixated on me. Why are you pulling his Spinosaurus Jurassic Park 3? Well, you're done running around. Well, we're not gonna get anywhere like this, so... <sighs> Hail Mary! I, I'm scared to find out how much damage you do. I mean, I have prop 2 except on my chest plate, so... Uh, where are your hitbox? Really? I had to hit the 300 plus health? Isn't that more than the Ender Dragon? Why are you... Oh, whatever. Get back here, okay. Okay, so as long as I can stay away from... Yeah, dealing good damage. I deal good damage, okay. Yeah, I can do this, I can do this. Just be careful from getting attacked. Take this. And this. Yeah. I'm scared to do... Get too I'm scared to get too close. Uh, yeah, you can roar, you can roar. You're not gonna get me. <laughs> this is a bit cheesy. I mean, I was planning on using the trap and it's kind of being used. Just not in the way it was intended. It does work though. I'm scared to find out how much damage it does. Also, I need to watch out for any... Really? N not now. Mobs, please don't disturb. Please don't give me a creeper. I don't need a creeper right now. So close. Yes! Die, Tyrannosaurus! Feel the wrath of the mammals! Woo! Feel the rise of the mammals. There's a reason why we are able to conquer the earth much better and faster than you guys. Though you guys are cooler than us, I must admit. Too bad this bridge didn't get used to how it was intended, but I did use it nonetheless. I suppose... Um, now it's just kind of there. And with that, I'm gonna end the video here. Even though I didn't start off this video with a goal, I at least made one myself. And I did it. I managed to kill a T-Rex. So if you like this video and you find it entertaining, please show your support to the channel. And with that, I will see you guys later.